welcome back, you evil little bastards. We're gonna be uh, playing more of the game. Uh, last we left off, uh, we we were in the basements. Um, we're gonna be doing more stupid stuff. We're we're out of ammo. We have half a clip left. Uh, I might have to. Let's, there we go. It's a little more. No, that's not. That's dumb. That's dumb. I'll just turn the mic volume down because it's directly connected to the volume of the game. He locked the door. Better find another way. Okay. Let's go down Jerkoff Avenue. Now, some of you might be wondering, what in God's name is that? And my answer to that is, I don't know. But there's more in here. Ow! They're breaking my ankles! That was a huge waste. I'm gonna load a save. That was embarrassing. That was actually embarrassing. I apologize. Let's pretend that never happened. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier here, and today we're going to be violating this man's prostate. Does it do no damage? It does... It does barely any damage. Wow. I am thoroughly out of ammo. This is why I regretted dropping that. This is why I should have probably kept the knife. What's in here? Please tell me it's not more monsters. No ammo, nothing. Oh, yeah, ammo. One round. Well, actually, a full magazine. <laughs> what a fat serving of no. It only takes three direct rounds to kill them. Hmm. Straight or straight or right? What the hell was that? That wasn't from the game. What was that? Sorry, I'm recording in the dead of night, so it shouldn't actually have that many background interruptions. But for some fucking reason, there still are. As I am a pre not prepubescent, I'm I'm fucking older than that. As I am a pubescent teen. My voice is not as strong as that of other Let's Players, but I can still try, you see. And I got my myself a- <laughs> Okay, enough with this facade. We're gonna- we're gonna turn the gain back up. We're gonna push the mic over, over here. Put the gain way up so you guys can hear me better. Uh, and... We have some alimonies to pay and some children to beat, so... Actually, I like the mic placement here, because it's better. It's better this way. Trust me. Damn it, I gotta mess up my whole damn setup right on- I don't edit my videos usually, so this is awkward for me. Oh, come on, you guys aren't immune to my beaten stick. I have authority. Respect my authority. Good criminy Christ. Why are you guys kicking my ass? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That usually doesn't happen when I play. Apologies for sucking ass at this game. Good God. Also, you can dual wheel beaten sticks. And guns. And beaten guns and gun sticks and all sorts of fun stuff. Hey, wait. I can read these. I love that. You can read them without actually having to look deep at them. <clears throat> Go back. Sounds familiar. Five four three two one four today. Five four three two one four. Now if we just This is important by the way. Press Z. Oh no. Oh, I... Sorry about that. Today. Let's do this. I 
need help, please! Yeah, stop being cryptic, dude. <laughs> Five, two, four, and seven. There's a, a fucking gate right there. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I need to show you guys an awesome secret. You see, in the UK, nine 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 is the emergency hotline. But since I'm in the US, I want you guys to enjoy this as much as me. So. How pleasant. You can only do that once in the entire game, by the way. I just thought I'd do that for the stream. My microphone is really close right now, so it's a bit awkward. Okay, enough with this skit. Can I just go back to my old setup with the mic off to the side? Five, two, four, and seven. There's the combo. I just thought I'd show you guys the. Oh god, I hate this part. I'm just gonna take my headphones off because there's no threat here. There is on doctor mode though, but there are some spooky sounds. So yeah, there was no real threat there, but there was really spooky sound effects. And you guys know me, I don't like my spooky sound effects because they're spooky. Because I'm a little bitch. <laughs> okay, whatever, apartment's third floor, let's save over there. That is really loud, by the way. Ouch. Yeah, those guys don't... They're not very effective, but they do have a really good creep factor. My ears are hurting right now. Oh, hi. I'm not gonna waste ammo on you. What a shame. Sprint juice. Hang on. I am out of sprint juice. How do I make this quieter? Okay, thankfully that helped. Okay, I don't. I gotta break your ankle. Hang on. On a scale. On a yes or a no, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. You can avoid enemies when you can, by the way. What was that? I'm sorry, I gotta keep pausing it, because I keep hearing things behind me. Oh, god. I wanna know, how did this happen? Real talk, how did this happen? Also, this thing. If anybody can explain what this thing is, I'd like to know. Most of the time, you can actually just walk past these sewer monsters. They're not really a threat. Pretty spooky, though. They actually can't leave the- oh no, they can leave the water. That's different. Let's go through the door. Go through another door. And we're out of the woods for now. Speaking of which, there is an actual, like, woodsy level in this game. And it's actually really cool. Can we just enjoy this dumpster fire for a bit? Oh, I'm sorry. Barrel fire. It's common in a scary game. I should do a playthrough of The Evil Within, maybe. 
I know it's a really old game, but I'm not I'm not afraid of covering slightly out of out of fashion games, I guess you could say. Oh shit. Well, I hope you enjoyed being alive for the brief moments that we had that. And now we have to deal with Mike Myers again. Yeah, it's a two-hit kill for these guys. I'm gonna be using melee more. Oh god. Door's locked. Door's stuck! Door's stuck! Please! I beg you! Does anyone remember that? I can exercise. This can be your physique. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah! I tried to get through the way. Try to get through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. This shit's stuck. Out of my way, son! Door is stuck! Door is stuck! Please! I beg you! <laughs> Anyone remember that? Uh, that's a shame. You idiots are probably not gonna understand that. Okay, I know it's a bit of a waste, but whatever. I like being alive. And I know for a fact I'm gonna get a lower grade than what I usually do. Hang on. Ba -da -ba -da. Supervisor is a dick. Super cigarette breaks every two every two hours. Most important. The cave is wet, cold, and filled with. What? I need to read that. Welcome to the team. I was just. Filled with puddles. Watch a stab. Cigarette breaks every two hours. The supervisor is a dick. Mm, the code to section C. We're gonna be going back and forth all day, so I'll need to memorize it. Two seven nine something. And this is a random number number generator thing. And I need a lighter for oil. Maybe I can set that on fire. Don't worry, I'll be getting one of my beating sticks soon. Excuse moi. What the hell was that? Seven nine two. Okay, hang on. I gotta. I will be dropping my beating stick, and I have good reason. And you'll see it in a moment. Don't worry. You can pick stuff up. Pick stuff up when you drop it. These aren't a hazard, but they are cool. You see that? That is why I dropped off the frickin' the thing. That's why I dropped off the beating stick. I know it's called a night stick, but I don't care. It's actually called a tomfa, but no one actually looks into the Japanese name of the things. It's just me. Uh, yep, there's Mike Myers. I don't think they actually are are Mike Myers on these, but I call them Mike Myers because they look like Mike Myers. Ah! And there we go, I beat him to death. There's a lighter. Some cigarettes here. By the way, let me show you an interesting thing you can do. Simon can take a cigarette break. It's not healthy for him and it makes you lose a tiny bit of health, but you can do it. Very interesting. And there's the boomstick. You can't do wield with it, and it does insane damage, even though its spread is uh, not the best. It also consumes ammo, not ammo, but it also consumes sprint juice when you bash people with it. But it does also make distance. What the? There we go. Going through the tunnel, going through the tunnel, going through the tunnel of fun. 
going through the tunnel, hoping I don't fucking die. Let's go over here. Oh god, there's, there's these things. Don't worry, they're super easy to deal with. Just watch this. Oh god, I, how did I mess that up? And it's easier to hit fire with this thing than anything else. Oh my god, how are you not dead? There we go. Doors! Stop! Simon's got some good form when he runs, though. Be careful from that. Light some oil on fire. I'm not gonna step on that, but I hope you guys will take my word for it. But that will damage you if you step on it. On the or burning oil fire, obviously. A key. There we go. Don't know. Oh yeah, but yeah, whatever. It don't matter. It don't matter. Let's just get the hell out of here. I do love how Simon can iron sight. Even though with the shotgun, you don't really need to iron sight. You feel me? Let's go. Oh god, not this section. We have some work to do. And it actually doesn't matter what weapon we take. The next fight won't let us damage the boss that way. Let's do this. Courage! Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, good question. Why is that guy na like Wait. on a cross? No oh, fuck, not this thing. Now, I already know how to kill him. It doesn't matter. Now if I just lure him over to the end, bait out an attack by letting him go. Notice how that, you know, fucking electrocutes him. It's about positioning, really. Mace is super slow, and his AI is dumb. How are you not dead? Oh my god. There we go. Hey, buddy, hit me. Hit me. And he's dead. And that's how you kill Mace. Ooh, you're a heaping pile of ugly. Eh, whatever. He locked the door, obviously. I don't know why his head is sawn off. He doesn't look infected. And he's already got a bullet through his brain, in case you guys didn't see that. But now, we have to go through a uh, uh, fun part. So to say. I think I went through the wrong door. Hang up. Yeah, I went through the wrong door. Yeah, it's this one. Apologies for that little hiccup. Now we have to deal with another unnerving section. Oh yeah, if you guys want me to do like multiplayer runs of some games, because I'd love to do the multiplayer version of the Cry of Fear campaigns. I know they're not nearly as good as this, but, you know. Oh, look, a hacksaw. Or, sorry, a saw. That's not a hacksaw. Hacksaws are way different. Okay, where are you? I don't know for a fact there's gonna be big ugly up ahead. Oh, hi. Yeah, I think a point blank shot with a shotgun is gonna kill pretty much anything. Reload, reload. Got one shell, just in case I run out. That's reassuring. 
and half a clip. A little over half a clip, but let's do this. This is gonna be gross. Ugh. Some sounds, boy. Oh, they even added the detail of the model where you're like, his stomach's all torn open because he had to get the key. Okay. This is the part that always unnerves me. The hands. And when I say the hands, you guys will know what I'm talking about in a minute. First, I'm gonna need these doors locked, obviously, so I gotta unlock it. Okay. Now, let me just look at the title here. You will die. That is the name of this area. Wonderful. That's a man with a book for a face. This music is a bit ear grating, so I might just, you know. What do you think? Oh, wait, I gotta read those nice. Do you like this? You don't know anything. If you, if you could just understand. I never wanted this. I don't know about that one. I just want you to die. Just die! Well, that's not very nice. Okay, enough with the weird mic stuff. I promise I won't do more weird mic stuff in the future. But now, it's time to run. Time to run like I've never run before. Ah, my hands. The hands. It's the goddamn hands. I'm sailing it the wrong way. Fuck. There. Door. 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 Simon. Simon, go. There we go. We made it. And that is what happened in reality after we fucking broke our legs from some asshole ramming us with a car. Damn it. What was that? Hallucinations? Probably. Am you I are going insane? nuts. Yeah, probably. Shit. Shit indeed, pal. Shit indeed. I need to get some help or at least just find my way back home. Yeah, I'm sure that'll solve a lot. I wonder who that sick doctor is. He must have something to do with me. He's wearing a gas mask, and I'm not. Good point. Chapter 3. The city is, in fact, not safe. And here we are. Let's take a breath for a minute. As we go up this barely visible ladder. Without sound sometime. Hey, this game is old. I never said it was perfect. It's great though. I do love this game. You know, for something that started off as just an ambitious product, uh, an ambitious project by a bunch of dudes who made a Half Life mod, you know, as its own official release, which is the one I'm playing. It's got a lot of effort into it. Oh, what? Somebody's texting me. Are you okay? You better come home now. It's, I'm, it's late. I'm getting worried. You know, it's in, in, in whatever. Oh, hi. Watch me break them ankles, homeboy. I pronounced that wrong, but it means bunnies. Everyone loves bunnies. 
right now we're dealing with complete mental insanity my grip on reality is slowly withering away but bunnies everyone loves bunnies it's Swedish by the way for those of you who don't know I'm not Swedish but I do like Sweden Well, that thing's a whole heaping helping of ugly, and I'm not getting close to it. And I already know what happens if you get close to it. Hang on, I can't. I got up. There we go. Oh, hi. You got tentacles on you. You have tentacles on you. A lot of good those did you. Let's go through here. There's more up ahead. There we go. I'm half con I'm conscious here because on doctor mode usually there's things in the way. I'd just like to point out my grade for the game might might end up being like a D or an F, but usually I do pull off a C or a B. It's kinda like my school life. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Oh, Heaven was more. I'm bounted to the wall. <laughs> Remember Beauty and the Beast 2? No, you don't, you fucking liar. No, you don't. <sighs> I can just beat on this guy, by the way, because he can't move. It's like pushing somebody in a wheelchair down a ramp. By the way, one time I was sat in a wheelchair, it was duct taped to it, uh, because my brothers are assholes. And I was pushed down a ramp. It did not end well for me. Actually, who am I kidding? It was fucking hilarious, but... It wasn't f hilarious from my perspective. Looking back, it was funny. Okay. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of you. Oh. So. Beautiful. Oh. Oh no. He's dead. Just die. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. You guys mind not getting all up close and personal with me? It makes me have to use the shotgun. I can fucking see the whites of your non-existent, fucking hollowed out, black eyes. I can see the whites in them somehow, because you're that close. Proof that Simon is a bona fide badass. He can punch a 2x4 in half by just punching it. Ow, you asshole. You dick. You dick bag. Fuck off. Damn near break my ankles, boy. And I'm gonna have to punch your friend to death. It's a recompense. You can you can kill somebody this way, by the way. Jesus, Simon, chill out. I know you're, you know, dying from like a fatal wound or whatever, but come on, grow up, dude. <laughs> I love that. I love Simon as a character. So I understand why people are making really creepy art of him, which, by the way, some of you sick fucks making, like, fanfics of Simon and, like, really creepy shipping art with Simon, I see you. Don't you fucking dare touch this video. Oh, hi. You guys again. <laughs> You know, enough of this. Two, one. Oh, no. Just two more. Okay. I know what's up ahead next. And I'm saving it for next episode, because this one's going on for a while. But... Ugh. Okay. Nope, looks like I have to do this. I'm going to take off my headphones. And we're going to run through this. We're going to do this. I know for a fact that... I'll, tell, I'll explain on the way. Now I know for a fact that this guy can't outrun... Can't actually hit you if you constantly are moving. 
at a pace consistent with a walking pace. He's scary, he's loud, he's very loud, but he can't actually hurt you. Jump. I could have sworn he was closer than that, but okay. Well, that was fun. I don't have much else to say, because I'm fucking mortified by that. It was terrifying. Got some ammo. <clears throat> I... How do I explain this? Have you ever been... Oh, whatever. I'm gonna take my time. I don't punch these guys. You don't, you don't deserve a dignified bullet death. You deserve a punch. Wonder if I Simon, you do not have a lot of effort in that fist, but it still does a lot of damage for just a fist. Oh god, not you guys. That was a waste of a shotgun shell, but not gonna lie, it did feel good. Oh god, not you. Oh no. God damn it. Stupid babies. I just need a save file, man. More creepy sections. <laughs> Making me waste Glock ammo like a little. I'm sorry, I will not abuse you, microphone. I'm sorry. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, Jesus Christ! Kid, keep it, keep it together, don't lose your head. funny an easter egg uh that's golden that is pure gold oh man that is bona fide classic now if i go through here maybe i can get the fuck out of here what wait what okay never mind i guess we're going through this facility Don't budge, don't budge. Damn it, kid! Now, what's through here? Um, something. A Glock. Oh, Rolling victim. Got a nice Glock magazine out of that. I see no harm in that. Now, let's go the way the game actually wanted us to go. Get my shotgun out. Now what's in here? Man, I gotta bump up the brightness. I can hardly see. A Glock and a nightstick. I got rid of my nightstick for very good reason. It's a nice little reset. Well, that was loud. I actually know that enemy. I recognize her from uh, the multiplayer stuff. Now what's in here? Don't oh, budge, okay. See, that lady isn't just a screamer. She's also a reskin for the the runner the runners, I think they're called. The ones that run at you with knives in the forest. Don't worry, you'll you'll recognize them soon enough. Shit, more sumos. <laughs> Get it. They're called sumos. And my wife left me. I got no on that front. I'm sure I'm gonna have to give that one a pass. Damn it, kid! You're making me waste my syringes. Hate you, kid. Please. 
please tell me there's a save file coming up ahead. <gasps> oh look, the forest. Not forest, this is the park. Relatively small area, but it's still helpful. See an eagle statue, an owl statue, a horse statue, and a lion statue. Very cryptic. Oh, cool. Silently she flew as a whisper in the dark. She came upon a river and headed south. The king of all the birds flew higher than the owl, gloating as he went. Four legged like carnivore sink side to side to his prey, ready to strike when the movement was, when a movement was made. The equestrian beast didn't want her sleep to come, so she fled to the west unclaimed. Okay. And now that we know that, we just need a reference on where's north and where's south. Which I think is somewhere here, right? Yeah, somewhere up here. But other than that, this is a long enough episode. We're gonna pass on the sewer passage. And I think we're good. Peace out, you evil little bastards. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Hang on.